Ahoy there, Legion! I'm gonna be featuring a slightly under the weather psycho today, but good news is, Console Squad should be happy to know that the Chain Zaharo is now live, and they can get in on that new support and frame action. I got a goofy walkthrough of the quest lined up for y'all to have fun with in a bit, but for today, we're gonna do a quick and dirty spoiler free version, so anybody who wants to build Haro the tried and true free to play way can in a jiffy. First up, you need to have completed both the War Within and the Void Survival mission at least once. Good news for Console Squad is this will be a popular public mission to run as other people are going to be dashing to get it for the quest access as well. So you should be good as long as you don't delay on that too long. Lastly, you'll need a few of Cephalon Simaris's kinetic siphon traps equipped to your item wheel. You can probably get by with 10, but I'd bring 20 just in case. Alright, all set? Pop open your codex and accept it quickly. Or slowly. You'll get a spoopy boopy background if you wait long enough, as this quest is supposed to be scary. It's not, but it's supposed to be. You'll first be investigating a distress call, but after some minor sleuthing, it'll turn into a rescue mission. Defend the target against a very easy zombie rush, if you can even call it that. Then hit extraction. Head out to Iron Wake and talk to the chick, but she's got like zero bars and needs us to boost her network a little bit, so go do a quick gopher mission on Pluto to get her an autistic antenna. Give that to the chick, she'll slide into his DMs and want us to break out the kinetic traps instantly because apparently she's into that sort of stuff. I mean, to be honest, the whole mask thing kinda gave it away, so no surprise there. The next phase of the quest involves one simple task. Find the cartoonishly designed NPC, drop a trap close enough to ensnare him, and kill it before it gets away. Enemies will try to stop you, but what are you gonna do? Now you just gotta do that exact thing over and over again, a little under ten times. Nine, to be exact. Three in the derelict, three in your anus, because of course it just had to be there, and three in earth. Finally, you have one beast of a boss battle, in this case the boss being the controls and mechanics DE has put in place. Needless to say, the entire theme can be summarized as this. 15 minutes of this, and the worst round of Hearthstone I have ever seen. For all your efforts, you're rewarded with a solitary blueprint and having to farm up all of Haro's parts yourself. Remember when quests used to reward parts like Titania? I remember. You'll need to harvest Void Fisher corrupted enemies for his chassis, rotation C of the lovely defection mission type for his systems, and last but not least, his neuroptics drop out a rotation C of spy. But not just any spy mission, Kuva Fortress spy mission. Good luck and good humor on your grind, Tenno. Aiming to release the play by play walkthrough giggle fest of the quest shortly, but until then, thank you for watching, and catch you next time, Legion. Take care.